All right, guys, so in the last video, we caught our form data and inserted it into our database. And in this video, I want to look at our query right here from our last video. And one thing we need to be very cautious about is our single quotations right here. So, you know, like when we have double quotations inside double quotations and we need to escape that? Well, that's what we need to do for single quotations right here in SQL. So, <clears throat> show you one way how we can escape these right here. So let's go to PHP my admin. And let's click on our database. And let's click on our table pages. And I'll use this one as an example. Let's go ahead and edit our new PHP video. And right here in the content area, new PHP video will help you learn PHP better. And I'm going to type in, and that's no lie. And you see how we have a, a single quotation right here as well, this apostrophe in between that, in, in that, that and is. And I'm going to click go. Okay, so let's look at our SQL right here. You see how our SQL ran this apostrophe? To escape out of an apostrophe or a single quotation, it, ru it runs another one. So you see how there's two right next to each other? So in between that, in between that, the way it escapes the single quotations is it adds another one. So that's one way we can go ahead and escape a single quotation. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do it another way.